Good afternoon, everybody. Now it's the time we've all been waiting for. It's almost time for race one of the Race Parts Historic 750 Formula. You join us up here on the tarmac of Donington Park. This is the assembly area. Uh, we've got uh, Christine behind us. We're going to chat to some of the drivers very shortly. Uh, just a little recap of what happened in qualifying. If we just bring up your grid order onto the screen for you so you can have a little look uh, at that. So Richard Pryor is the man who uh, actually put in the pole position time. Uh, didn't he? We've got Christian uh, Pedersen alongside him, John Village, Martin Depper, Gray Wilson, uh, Tim Sage, Kevin Welsh, Trevor Slatter, uh, Jerry Fincham, and Roger Rowe. Uh, fortunately, Roger, I believe, is out of the race. Actually, he will not be uh, getting ready for this race. Do you want, do you want a hand, uh, Christian? <laughs> You're all right. Yeah, if you just turn the steering wheel right hand down. There you go. Our qualifying went all right, though, didn't it? You only got three laps in, though. What, everything all right? Yeah, we had a misfire. So ah. um, it just, uh, it's been uh, ever since Catwell. Yeah. But um, the pace we're... is there, though. Then. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I mean, I did a 135. I should have done a 130, I think. Yeah. So I just made myself a nice little gap and then it, it all broke. <laughs> What's it like driving one of these? I mean, look, there's, there's no seatbelt, there's nothing. You sat on top of a fire extinguisher. Do you ever feel. Feel a bit of danger or no just... not really because i think everybody you know when we again with the vscc and here yeah uh, everybody knows that a lot of the cars haven't got the, the safety features they haven't got yeah. the roll cages they haven't got the belts they haven't got da 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 all things so if you go into a corner side by side you do think about yeah hang on should i back off here and and generally the the the, the quality of the driving is this the yep. skills is very high so uh, yeah you know it uh, it's it's fun it's fun. That's what I like to hear. That's what I like to hear. Uh, best of luck. Thanks for chatting to us. I hope everything's all right with the car as well. Uh, let's just move down the order uh, a little bit as well. Look at it. What a sight these make, don't they? Uh, uh, we did, I was just saying. Oh, I was just, thank you. I was just saying, what a sight these cars make. What is it like to race in, in this series? Oh, it's absolutely fantastic. It's a, it's a good, friendly atmosphere. Yeah away from the circuit most of us are we see each other so we're all good friends brilliant and it's, it's just a really really nice championship to be part of it uh, looks terrifying actually i mean you've got seat belts so i was just chatting to chrissy he's got no seat belts or anything it must be terrifying. no I, I can't imagine without belts so yeah uh, i right. feel safer yeah me too yeah uh, look thanks for chatting enjoy the race best of luck thank, thank you very you. much uh there we go as well look at this i'm gonna name this one the silver bullet I've just nicknamed it the Silver Bullet. I hope that's Fantastic. all right. <laughs> yeah, 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 good. Are you ready for the race? You support oh, I'm it? looking forward to it, yeah. Yeah, can't wait. You don't get nervous, do you? No, I don't. No, I can't. I'm excited. Good man. Thanks, yeah. you. Uh, enjoy. We're just going to move down the order a little bit uh, as well. There's uh, Trevor as well. So listen to this. Listen to this. Wow, it's enough to melt your heart. Let's move down a little bit further on uh, as well. Make sure we don't get run over car number 18. Look at this. Uh, what an absolute. This is uh, Timothy. I wanted to speak to Tim a little bit earlier. I promised I'd chat to you, didn't I? <laughs> I finally got you. Uh, talk through qualifying. How did it go, first of all? Uh, it went pretty well, though. So it yeah. seemed a little bit slippy out there first thing this morning, a bit cold. Yeah. Um, it was, wasn't it, actually? Yeah, yeah. the wind's not very nice either. <laughs> no, <laughs> but, no. Uh, but no, it went, it went well. It looks like this one's going to be dry. Is that, is that yeah, good? So. That's what you want? Yep. Fantastic. So, if it stays consistent. Don't Tell we? us a little bit more about this this car because it's an absolute cracker, isn't it? <laughs> uh, this is uh, this is a supercharged special 1932 oh. chassis. Uh, it was built by a guy called John Miles, who uh, yeah. was uh, 750 Motor Club um, vice chairman for a lot of years, former ex Formula One driver. Yeah. Um, he built and developed this car, and unfortunately passed away. Um, and you've got to see it run once in competition. Really? Oh. Uh, but, uh, At least you got to see it, though. That's, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and it's really a testament to him and his engineering uh, skill and knowledge. It really is. Look, enjoy the race, won't you? Uh, thanks for chatting to us. The rest of the car that's coming down, let's just go for a little walk uh, and just have a look, uh, a look at these as well. <laughs> this is the narrowest car on the grid. <laughs> yeah. You look like you could slip around a supermarket it, in this. Uh, it looks fantastic. What's it like to drive? Uh, it's, it tells you everything you need to know. <laughs> and the challenge is taking notice of what it tells you. You've got these nice leather seats. Are they actually comfortable? Oh, are they quite nice to see? Or? As, as soon as you get going, you don't think about it. You don't it notice it. I'm basically sitting on the floor. I was going to say that there's like 
Funny enough, uh, it did a broadcast earlier, I laid down next to uh, John's car, actually, oh, funny yeah, enough, yeah. and literally my nose has got quite a big nose. I think it was above the uh, the top of the car, so yeah. <laughs> incredible stuff. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to let you go anyway. Thanks I'll for chatting to us. I think it's almost time to uh, get going. We're going to go get ourselves into position. Let's just bring that qualifying order back up uh, one last time so you can just have a look at the qualifying order for race one here of the race parts historic 750 formula. We're going to bring you the race from the same place we bought uh, qualifying as well so you can get a good look at this. Uh, you keep walking, I'm just going to get a couple of pictures. Uh, whilst we're walking along as well, we can pop that graphic back down for you. So that is your qualifying order. Richard Pryor in first, Christian Pedersen in second, uh, John Village in third. If we, uh, we're just going to show you a little video actually about some of the on-track action you can expect from these cars. There's something quite special, aren't they? Here's a little video uh, all about giving you a bit more information about the historic 750 formula. Elaine, roll BT. Okay, so we're just walking back to position. Uh, so we get a little look at behind the scenes here, what's going on here at Donington Park. Whilst we're just walking back, let's just pop your qualifying order back onto the screen for you uh, so you can have a little look at the running order. It's race one of the race parts historic 750 formula. <laughs> Who's it going to be? The Class A cars, of course, were praying for rain. It's not quite happened. Uh, we are going to have a dry race. Uh, the whistle's just gone in the assembly area as well. We've timed this to absolute perfection, uh, I think I have to say as well. That means the cars will be making their way around very, very shortly to the grid. And we'll get a cracking look at the action here. Lovely little video that, wasn't it? 750 Clubs historic racing series. It's for cars built to the early eras of the 750 formula regulations, primarily comprising the Austin 7 Specials and later Reliant Engine Formula cars. A lot of history in the paddock here at Donington Park today, and a lot of history about to line up on the grid. This is going to be a real treat on the eyes, it certainly is. No matter what level of motorsport you like, this is a series to have a lot of love and a lot of respect for. This is all about passion. But of course, as soon as those lights go out, it's about action. So Richard Pryor, alongside Christian Pedersen on the grid, John Village, Martin Depper, Graham Wilson, Tim Sage, Kevin Welsh, Trevor Slatter, Jerry Fincham, uh, I believe Roger Rowe is not going to be out on the track. And we spoke to him earlier, didn't we? Uh, problem with the car. Linda Thruston, Mike Whitby, Timothy Roebuck, just spoke to Timothy, didn't we? Alfred and Cork, Simon Gallon, John Ingram, Charlie Plain Jones, John Moss, James Miles, Archie Waterfield, Thomas Emden. That's just line up. We've just uh, heard the hooter go. They're just clearing people off the pit wall. You'd have thought that people would know this by now, wouldn't you, that you're not allowed to uh, stand on the pit wall at the start of a race? So the boards are going up. 
If you want to find out more about the historic 750 Formula, you can. There's a link in the body straight to the website, but don't go there just yet. Stay with this. It's almost time for race one of the race parts, historic 750 Formula 1. It's here live at Donington Park. 15 minutes of classic action coming up here at a windy Donington Park. It's quite cold as well. Lyndon Thurston, we saw it in qualifying, it was a spinner at the very first corner, Redgate here, beached it, did manage to get back out again though. Cold tyres, possibly one or two nerves maybe, we'll see. Prior. Pedersen alongside each other. Then you've got the two white cars there, 49 and 8 of Village and Depa. The lights are on, red lights, and away we go. And what a great start by Pryor as well. And the two cars of Depa and Village absolutely looking like they're going to swap Pedersen, but Pedersen's managed to hold them off. In fact, it's going to be Pedersen who's going to take the lead into Redgate. It is Christian Pedersen leads into the first corner. Wow. What a wonderful, wonderful start. It almost looked like it got a little bit bogged down. And it looks like both Village and Depot have got past Prior as well. We've got a spinner. We've got a spinner at Redgate. They're into the gravel. They're beached into the gravel. Hopefully they could get pushed out of there. We could get things going. Uh, we won't need a safety car, fingers crossed. We've got you waved yellows at the first corner. Uh, beached in the marshals just coming over now. Surely it's very close to the track though. Should be able to push uh, the car out. I'll tell you who it is very, very shortly. No contact, I think it is, just as we said before, we saw it in qualifying. In fact, it's almost a replica of qualifying, isn't it? Uh, just as they came out of the pits in qualifying, it was uh, Linda Thruston who spun it in qualifying. Not too sure who this is this time, but cold tyres, a bit of a cold track. We have just had the lunch break as well, so there hasn't been any track action for over half an hour now. So this is a race 18 in total. It's a 15 minute race, as we say, as well, in action right now. It's the first race after the lunch break. We've got the handicap race to bring you at four o'clock this afternoon as well. We'll be live for that. The cars are just coming down the start finish line now, and it's still Pedersen. Oh, safety car, yep. Safety car is out, as we can see as well. So the safety car did not manage to get the car moved in time. So we do have the safety car right now out on the track. And it is Pryor who uh, managed to start in his second place, actually, didn't he? Uh, oh, sorry, not Pryor. Pryor did start uh, in first place, didn't he? Just waiting for this to catch up because I'm not so sure my timing is uh, overly accurate. Uh, there you go, he's back out on track now. Uh, Thomas Endham just coming over the line there in his Austin 7 Sportsman. Just make sure everybody else has got now. We're just going to try and make head or tail of what's happened uh, on the opening lap here. I'm pretty confident I saw Christian Pedersen's car come around, but according to uh, our timing sh sheet, it's Richard Pryor, John Village, Trevor Slatter, although I'm not quite so sure that's uh, accurate, is it? Well, a bit of drama here, early doors in the opening race for the race parts historic 750 formula here at Doddington Park on the national circuit here. Slightly shorter circuit, which is nice. It means we get to see plenty of the cars coming around, plenty of action. Uh, we had a catch up with the drivers after, uh, after qualifying as well. Do go back and watch that. We've got some great insight. We caught up with a number of the drivers down and found out the history of these cars as well. Once the race is finished, we'll uh, head over to Park Fermi, see if we can't grab a word with one or two of them. Then we're going to go to a break. But when we come back, 
we will catch up with Lyndon Thurston just to find out even more about this incredible championship before bringing you race to live at four o'clock this afternoon. A lot to happen. We have access all areas coverage for you today. We are my supercar. We are broadcasting live on YouTube. Uh, Safety Cars Inside There's a link to our YouTube channel if you want to watch this in high definition in the body of the text as well. So safety cars come in. Here they come round now. And it is Pedersen who leads from Pryor and Village, but for some reason, Pedersen is not showing up on the timing screen. So uh, it is Pedersen from Pryor, Village, Slatter, Depper, Wilson, Welsh, Sage, Fraley, Cork, Roebuck, Gallen, Whitby, Waterfield, Thurston, Miles, uh, Plain Jones. Uh, then we've got John Moss. Uh, oh, Lyndon has dropped down, I think. Uh, a car just coming into the pits. That's number 23. That's Lyndon. That is Lyndon Thruston. He's into the pits. Is that his race run? Uh, yes, it is. So Lyndon Thruston, uh, unfortunately, out of this race drops down into the pits. Uh, just coming over into your screen now is Thomas Emden, his Austin 7 sportsman. I think it was John Ingram who had the spin uh, at the first corner in his half of Mark II. Uh, he's back out on track though, I am pleased to say. Uh, so we, uh, we're going to catch up with Lyndon and just find out uh, what happened. We did have a live show uh, on a Thursday night with the Historic 750 Formula. Uh, Lyndon was part of that show. Do go back, check it out. It is on YouTube at My Supercar. It's also on the 750 Historic Formula Facebook page uh, as well. Do go check that out. It's a preview, really, to this Donington Park meeting, but there's a lot more information in it there as well. So do go check that out. Also, we brought you qualifying earlier this morning. Uh, the car's about to come back into your screen now as they come down the start-finish line here. And look, it is change, isn't it? I'm pleased to say Pedersen is now showing back on the timing screens but it is Pryor who's got back past him Pryor is now your race leader and it looks like Village has got past Pedersen as well Pedersen drops down to third it's now Pryor your race leader John Village in second place uh, Trevor Slatter in uh, fourth then we've got Martin Depper Graham Wilson Kevin Welsh the cars are streaming over the start finish line here at Donington Park uh, Tim Sage in seven. They've got a, uh, in eight. Sorry, they've got a Frailing Cork, Timothy Robick, Simon Gallen, Mike Whitby, uh, Christian Pedersen tumbling down the order according to this. Although I'm not quite sure that is totally accurate. Uh, something's definitely going on with the uh, transponder. I think in Pedersen's car. Uh, because he's in third place, but according to the timing sheets, he's down, well, he's well down here. According to the timing sheets, he's in 16th. Uh, so definitely a problem there, but we'll manage that, not to worry. We'll manage that situation and, and keep you updated with the action as it happens here at Donington. 15-minute race, so we've already had a safety car out in this race. Nothing major. John Ingram having a bit of a spin at the first corner. Uh, just kind of beached it, but very close to the track and is back out on track now, I'm pleased to say. Uh, yeah, and I can tell you actually the notes are car number 200. That is Christian Pedersen, no transponder in the car, which is why we're not picking it up. Although it is Richard Pryor, last time he came over the start finish line, your race leader. And here he comes already. Look, he's thumping along now. He's got John Village behind him. Are we going to see Trevor Slatter or Pedersen? Uh, what is happening? Pedersen is coming into the pits. So Christian Pedersen has come into the pits. I just saw Trevor Slatter go through, so he is now in third. So yes, there is a problem. We heard from Pedersen, he had a misfire in qualifying. He only completed three laps. He's into the pits now. That might, it might have been called in because of a transponder issue. There he is. Or that misfire is just proving too much of a problem and he's going to have to retire the car from this race. And he does. So it is Richard Pryor, John Village, Trevor Slatter, uh, Martin Depper, Graham Wilson, Tim Sage, Kevin Welsh, Christian Pedersen out of the race, as we just saw, sorry. Uh, Al Frailing Cork, Timothy Robick, Mike Whitby, Simon Gallin, Archie Waterfield, James Miles, Charlie Plain Jones, John Moss, Thomas Edmund, uh, Linda Thurston out of the race. John Inden, who had that spin early doors as well. There goes John Miles uh, through your screen on the track as well. And here they come, what a beautiful sight this really is. It's like an absolute oil painting, isn't it? It's like watching Formula One in the 1950s.
So here we go to start another lap. There is your race leader, car number 27. Look how low, he's almost lying down in that car, isn't he? It's incredible stuff. Richard Pryor, your race leader. John Villager is not going to let him go, is he? He's getting very close. He's holding on to him. Five laps into this race. We've got uh, what, just under five, sorry, just over five minutes left to go. That is, oh, it's amazing how quick the time goes, isn't it? You know, anytime you have a question, please do like, comment, and share. We can see the comments. Who are you supporting today? Who do you want us to go chat to? Who are you rooting for? Where are you watching from? That's something we always like to know. Are you at home? Are you at work? And where in the UK or overseas are you watching this incredible action here from Donington Park? Comment below. Tell us. As they go around the first corner here at Donington, a bit of wind, as you can see, the flag's blowing quite severely left to right. Uh, certainly in our paddock walk earlier, it was blowing an absolute gale. It really was. There was a little bit of moisture in the air. We might even have a bit of rain for race two. That's scheduled to get underway at four o'clock this afternoon. Uh, Richard Pride, certainly the man out in front. He's got a 1.6 second lead over John Villa, Trevor Slatter in third. Martin Depper in fourth, Tim Sage in fifth, Graham Wilson in sixth, Kenneth Welsh in seventh, Avery Only Cork in ninth, Mike Whitby in, in uh, sorry, Avery Cork in eighth, Mike Whitby in ninth, and Timothy Roback in tenth. That's your current top ten. Of course, we have a couple of groups uh, here as well. Charlie Payne Jones going very well in A class, and of course Richard Pryor, your leader in C class. These cars are wonderful to see, they're wonderful to listen to and hear as well. They really, really are. This is the second meeting, of course, this year. We're at Cadwell Park a month or so ago. I mean, imagine driving these cars around Cadwell Park. Oh, my word. A lot of these uh, drivers, there's no seatbelts in a lot of these cars as well. Can you imagine that? Richard Pryor, the fastest man on the track as well, 132.14. That's the fastest lap so far in the race. And now we're seeing a stream of cars coming over. It's a joy to see, isn't it? Uh, just saw Simon Gallon there, uh, just going into your picture now, heading into Redgate. We had a quick chat with Simon, didn't we, just before the race. Quite a narrow car is Simon. It's, a, it's an Austin 7 pigsty spec. What a wonderful, uh, wonderful specification. And it's nice to see, isn't it, uh, Thomas Ending going around the track. He's not going the fastest, as you can see. It's not necessarily just about that, though, is it? It's the sheer enjoyment of being let loose on a racetrack with no limit and just go in a beautiful piece of machinery. The stories associated with these cars, they, these are family heirlooms. They, they won't be left uh, alone. If you want to get racing and you want to find out more, there is a link in the body uh, of this post wherever you're watching it to the historic 750 formula website i do encourage you after the race once we cut the broadcast off to go and explore and find out a little bit more about this incredible incredible championship so we've got what uh, just two and a half minutes of this race left to go we've got somebody into the pits as well and it's like there's uh, a rev issue here, getting into gears, proven to be a little bit of a problem. Uh, that's John Moss down there. And uh, is his race run or can he, has he managed to find the gear? Looks like he had a bit of a gearbox issue there. And he's going back out on track, so great to see. I think he's managed to sort it out. John Moss exiting pit lane, back into the race. So Richard Pryor, not long left to go now in this race. He had a 3.7 second lead over John Village in Class C. There he goes, over the line there. Where is... There is John Village coming over the line there. In fact, the gap, if anything, has extended quite substantially now, hasn't it? 
uh, and I believe this will probably be the last lap of the race. 7.38 seconds is the gap now. A bar ridden area. Looks like Richard Pryor has got this in the bag. Of course, this is motorsport. Never say anything too soon. I've been caught out before of handing people the commentator's curse. I certainly don't want to do it here today. Uh, I'll run and hide if uh, anything happens to Richard Pryor now. So it is Pryor from Village. Sage is now in third. Deppers in fourth. Wilson in fifth. Trevor Slatter's dropped down to sixth place. Fraley Cork in seventh. Roebuck in eighth. Whitby in ninth. Gallen in tenth. Plain Jones in eleventh. Miles in twelfth. Waterfield in thirteenth. Welsh in fourteenth. Moss in fifteenth. Ingram in sixteenth. Uh, Emden in seventeenth. And Pedersen and Threston are out of this race. Now I'm just keeping an eye out because I believe the chequered flag will fall at the end of this lap. 15 minute race in total. Richard Pryor race winner last time out at Cadwell Park as well. Unfortunately retired from race two to taking his, so there, and there it goes. That was the chequered flag. It was flown very limply, wasn't it? Uh, but uh, yes, Richard Pryor takes the chequered flag for the second time in 2021. He won race one at Cadwell Park. Uh, he's won at race one here at Donington Park as well. Uh, John Village comes home in second place. It looks like it's going to be Tim Sage in third. And there he goes, there's uh, Tim Sage just coming up here to Redgate now. Martin Depper coming home in fourth place. Just wait for the rest of the cars to stream around, come over to check a flag. And it's, uh, it's hands out and waving, that's what we like to see, you know. This is, it must be such a sheer pleasure just to drive these cars. Could you imagine it? You know, imagine just doing it on the public roads, let alone being able to do it on a on a racetrack like Donington Park. <laughs> Just had uh, Jez Banks from 4040 Racing tickle in my head. <laughs> that sounds really bad, doesn't it? That sounds really dodgy. I didn't mean like that. <laughs> So congratulations, Richard Pryor. He's picked up his second win of 2021. Incredible stuff. John Village uh, in second, continuing his fine form this season. Tim Sage uh, came home in third place. Martin Depper in fourth. Graham Wilson in fifth. Trevor Slatter in sixth. Uh, Alf Raylan Cork in seventh. Timmy Roebuck in eighth. White, uh, Mike Whitby in ninth. Simon Gallon in tenth. Looks like Charlie Plain Jones will be uh, eleventh. James Miles in twelfth. Archie Waterfield in thirteenth. John Moss in fourteenth. Ingram in fifteenth. Emden in sixteenth. Welsh. Oh, oh, did I say Welsh twice there? I've got Welsh down in 17th and Pedersen in 13th, as we know, did not finish. Let's bring uh, that graphic up onto the screen if we can. The final, uh, the race results there for you from the results live. We're just going to see if we can get a chance to get down to the uh, Park Ferme area. Oh, yeah, good point, actually. No, no we're going to stay here a bit. So, Leon, my uh, more than capable companion, just... Reminding me that the cars are about to come down here, actually. You're going to get a nice look at them. There's John Moss. He had a bit of, looks like he had a bit of a gearbox issue, but managed to get back out on track and finish the race. There's Village coming over the line. Second place for him. Right, we're going to head down to Park Fermi. So if we just pop that uh, results screen back on, for everybody to have a little look at just whilst we walk down. If you could just leave it on till I say so, please, Elaine.
So Richard Pryor, very happy man, isn't he? Uh, fantastic stuff taking the race win there. As you can see from the graphic on your screen at the minute, the, uh, the results for the very first race uh, here at Donington Park today for the Race Parts Historic 750 Formula. It's uh, sheer enjoyment for a lot of the drivers as well, but of course it's still a race. You know, there's people still, still want to win out there. Uh, the two main class, class, class C and Class A, we will, uh, as you can see on the screen there, breaking down the classes for you too. Class A cars uh, certainly were praying for rain for this race, didn't quite happen for them. Who knows, uh, the second race of the day gets underway at four o'clock this afternoon and uh, we may get a chance to see it. Um, well, we will, you will see the race, you might get a chance to see a wet one, who knows. For the sake of my hair, I hope not. It will certainly spice up the on-track action, although not that it really needs spicing up, does it? That was uh, quite an exciting race, I have to say. I thoroughly enjoyed uh, my first ever experience there of the historic 750 formula. It was well, well, well worth keeping tabs on, wasn't it? We were almost in position. So just bear with us, do stick with us just a little bit longer. Okay, if you come back to us now, we can pop the uh, timing screen down. Here are the uh, the drivers, as you can see. Uh, I'll see if we can go in and, and have a little word. Uh, see if we can grab anybody. Okay. I do want to grab a word with John Village if we can. I'm sure we're allowed. We'll do it anyway. John. Hello. Hello, how you doing? That was Marvellous. A, that was a good race, wasn't it? I enjoyed that. Did you? Well, uh, no, I got a misfire, unfortunately. Ah, uh, do you know what? I was watching it and suddenly the gap just started to get further and further yeah. and further. And I, I couldn't work out whether it's just as the race wore on or something, you could just pull away or no. there was a problem and there was. Yeah. <sighs> I've been trying to fix it since the first race, but not yeah. succeeded. You've got uh, about two hours to the next one. <laughs> we'll try <laughs> something <laughs> else. <laughs> it's not bad though, is it? Second no, place no, here, are you? No, no, it's great fun. Yeah. The, just, no, to, this, just to right have a run round, it's always fun. It's such a joy to, to film and, and talk about and see in the flesh. No, I can't even imagine what they're like to drive. <laughs> well, they're, they're all right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cool, calm, collective. Thanks, John. Thank Cheers. Uh, I did want to find uh, our race winner as well. I'm just trying to... Struggling to find him a little bit, actually, uh, unless he's. Uh... Oh, there he is. He's up there. Let's let's go grab. Let's go grab the race winner, shall we? Oh, look at this as well. How nice is this up here? He's got the garland on as well. Yeah, there we go. Uh, that's your race winner. There, we'll grab a, a quick word of him very shortly. Uh, he's just having a quick catch up uh, there with uh, Trevor. It looks incredible stuff uh, in fact he's got to just nip off so we're not going to be able to uh, grab a word of him unfortunately we'll catch up with him later anyway <laughs> so we're just in the scrutineering area here as you can see uh, after the race uh, we've got mike here let's grab a quick word of mike mike uh, that was uh, an awful lot of fun to watch it was, was an awful racing? lot of fun to take over <laughs> well, wonderful it certainly was it certainly was i mean we did see a spinner at turn one um it's uh, was it quite tricky around there uh, was it cold tires cold surface and just going too fast, I should think, probably. I, I should think so, I should think so. <laughs> but, Not but, for you, of course. I mean, no, you, but you, Gerard's you... is always a very, very, at least I find it, very, yeah. very difficult corner. Yeah. Uh, there, you have to have a late turn in, but how late is late? Because if you leave it really late, people come up the inside of you. Yeah, of course. Uh, there, and then either you wait for them to go off into the kitty litter, or uh, <laughs> you, you back off and let them uh, through and have another go later on. So uh, That's motor racing, isn't it? It is, it's great fun. That, that's it's, motor it's racing. I'll, I'll let you crack on anyway, thank you very much. We're just going to stay here, watch the cars uh, head out. Uh, one last time, let the wind in the cars up, let's get them going again. Incredible stuff here in the park, Verme, at Donington Park. What a sight.
What a treat it really is here. going to let you enjoy the sounds of these cars. Absolutely beautiful, aren't they? They're, they're just sort of... Uh... <laughs> it's getting a hurry up. From Charlie Play Jones, uh, Charlie Car 22 is giving, uh, giving the hurry up there. There we go. <laughs> there goes uh, Trevor Slatter there in car 72, the Centura. Goes uh, village. Uh, what a treat! What a sight it is here. Right, I think uh, we'll wrap that up. That is uh, your race one action. What a treat that was to witness live. Uh, we're going to go to a break. When we come back, we're going to be with Lyndon Thruston. Uh, he's done so much for this championship to find out even more behind the scenes, exclusive content and information about this incredible championship. Don't forget, we'll also be bringing you Race 2 live at 4 o'clock as well. We'll be back soon. Don't go anywhere. My Supercar Ian Waterhouse. We'll see you soon.